Robert, as I said, in the state of North Carolina, which we're saying is swing state North Carolina, I had been lean red North Carolina, but now we have a Trump rally today, first outdoor rally, right, Robert, since the assassination attempt on the former president last month. Yeah, I mean, this is a very different look, Connell, than what we've been seeing in recent weeks ever since Butler, Pennsylvania. We've seen a lot of arenas. We've seen a lot of indoor venues. But this is the first time that we've really seen something like this taking place outside. And it's also the first time that we saw ballistic glass surrounding the former president. This is something that the Secret Service had given us rumblings about might be taking place in order to bolster security here. But this was really our first look at this in action on the campaign trail. And in terms of the focuses today, Connell, there's been a different one every day. Monday was all about the economy. Yesterday, that was law and order. Today, it was about national security and bolstering America's strength around the globe. This is what the former president had to say. Take a listen. Four years ago, our country was strong and respected like never before. Our allies admired us. Our enemies feared us because everyone knew that as an American president, I was all about putting America first. That's true. Under my leadership, we rebuilt the United States military, created Space Force, and we made our allies pay their fair share and their fair dues. And talking to voters out here, Cotto, this is something that people are thinking about. I mean, we always focus so much on the economy, but we've got a lot of Trump supporters who are very concerned about the global landscape right now and how to bring things back into order. So that is something that they did want to hear about today. All right. I, I mentioned coming to you, Robert, the swing state, North Carolina. Uh, you know, just about everybody's map had North Carolina up to about a month ago as lean red, right? Now, Larry Sabato, University of Virginia, he's toss-up. More and more people saying toss-up. Talk about how close it is, North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, a, re a real testament to how much of a difference just a couple of weeks can make. Last month, this was looking to be leaning far to the right, you know, six, seven, eight percentage points. But now you look at the Decision Desk HQ average of polls, Wow. I mean, it is razor thin here in the Tar Heel State. I mean, decimal points separating Vice President Kamala Harris and the former president. And this is the important thing, Connell. Here's why North Carolina is so significant. You look at the last few decades of elections here in the state, the electorate has favored Republicans. The only person to break through and win North Carolina for the Dems was Barack Obama in 2008. So there is a belief that you look at all of the battleground states right now, this is the one where the electorate favors the former president the most, which is why it's viewed as the one that he needs to win in order to have a pathway to 270. Connell. Yep, it would certainly seem that way. Uh, Robert, thank you. Robert Sherbert's there in North Carolina. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.